Today, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 game engines for you to use if you want to make your own video games. We'll be comparing the pros and cons of each game engine, so at the end of this video, you'll know which game engine is most suitable for your needs, so even if you have a low end PC, don't know how to code, or want to achieve super realistic 3D graphics, there will be a game engine for you to use. Number 10. Default Default is a free and open source game engine for Windows, Linux and Mac, which allows you to create browser games and mobile games. It is really lightweight, so you don't need the newest computer with tons of RAM to meet the demands. You write code in a beginner-friendly coding language called Lua, but it also features visual scripting. Default is truly cross-platform when it comes to publishing your games. You can publish them for PCs, mobile phones, Nintendo Switch, Steam, HTML5 and Facebook. The game engine is 2D focused but 3D capable, so you can make both 2D and 3D games with it. The cons are that there are not that many tutorials, which makes learning the engine harder and you need a Google account to use it. Number 9. GDevelop GDevelop is an open source and cross-platform game engine for Windows, Linux and Mac, which allows you to create browser games, PC games and mobile games without needing to write code. The pros of GDevelop are that it's free open source and cross-platform. It is very easy to use, especially for beginners that want to get started with game development. It features a built-in physics, pathfinding and platforming engine. It also allows you to create both 2D and 3D games. The cons of GDevelop are that everything, like platform behavior, was already made. So using GDevelop, you can only do things that the developers of the game engine implemented, which is limiting your creativity and freedom. There are not that many tutorials for GDevelop, and sometimes the GUI takes long to load. Number 8. Solar2D Solar2D is an open source and cross-platform game engine for Windows, Linux and Mac, which you can use to make browser games, PC and mobile games. You can make games on the Blue App programming language. You can only make 2D games with it, but that's why it's called Solar2D and not Solar3D. It is a completely free game engine, and there are forums and Discord servers to help you out, as well as some YouTube tutorials. Before 2020, the engine was titled Corona SDK, but obviously they needed to change their name. Number 7. Talk 3D Talk 3D is an open source game engine for Windows, Linux and Mac. You can, as the name suggests, only make 3D games with it. It comes with a powerful rendering and lighting engine built in. It includes HDR, depth of field, reflection and glow, and much more. It also features a terrain engine, which allows you to import pre-made terrains or sculpt your own ones by hand. You can write your code with a custom C-like programming language called TalkScript. It allows you to purchase a full version or a free trial. Unfortunately, it is a bit outdated and does not receive that many updates and support anymore. Because of this, there are not that many tutorials, but it definitely features a great system for making 3D games. If you want to make 3D games with realistic graphics, there will also be some more up-to-date game engines to show to you later in this video. Number 6. Construct Free Construct Free is a game engine for Windows which allows you to make games without having to write code. Just like GDevelop, you can use pre-made behavior blocks to implement the game logic for your project, which is really great if you are a beginner and have no coding experience. You can publish your game for computers, HTML5 so people can play your game in a browser, mobile phones, Xbox and Facebook. It is used by over 10,000 people per month, so there are definitely many tutorials to help you get started with the engine. As mentioned earlier, it is only available for Windows, but there also is a free online version which you can run on Mac or Linux computers. Using Construct, you can make both 2D and 3D games, and it comes with many tools like a built-in tile map editor, a physics engine, networking for making multiplayer games, and much more. But it is quite expensive, even for personal usage. Sure, there is a free online version, but it is very limited and you cannot even publish your games on this version. The personal edition costs around $100 per year. The pre-built game logic available also limits you, so you can only create what has already been made by the developers of the engine. Number 5. CryEngine CryEngine is a free game engine for Windows, which is mostly known for its powerful 3D support. The personal edition is free, but there is also an enterprise version if you want to make a game in a team, however, this version is not free. It comes with a powerful terrain forming tool, and you can create realistic game AI and animations with it. The CryEngine comes with a built-in high-end physics engine, so you can create realistic physics for your 3D games. The visuals are being rendered with HDR, and it comes with realistic lighting reflections and much more. 
the engine is open source and there are many tutorials to help you getting started with the engine. It is definitely a great game engine for making 3D games, but if you want to make them on Linux or Mac, you cannot do this. So later in this video I'll be telling you about other 3D game engines that you can run on these devices as well. Number 4. Game Maker Studio 2 Game Maker Studio 2 is a game engine for Windows and Mac which allows you to make 2D games. In Game Maker you can code using its own programming language which is called Game Maker Language or short GML which is based on C. You can export your games to Windows, Linux, Ubuntu, Mac, HTML5, mobile phones and consoles. Game Maker also features a drag and drop system which allows you to make games without code and you can make them by implementing game logic with these blocks. Other than with Construct Free and GDevelop, you can make whatever you want here because you can implement the game logic yourself. You can use if statements and variables and all of the other things a programming language consists of. Game Maker Studio 2 also comes with its own image editor so you can create your game sprites directly in the engine and you don't need to use extra tools like Critter or Inkscape. Unfortunately, Game Maker Studio 2 has a huge lack of tutorials even on YouTube. It is also really expensive and if you want to export your games for computers, mobile phones and HTML, the prices start at $99. Number 3. Unreal Engine Unreal Engine is a free game engine for Windows, Linux and Mac, which is mostly known for its amazing 3D graphics from the pipeline, which can make the graphics of your video game look very realistic. The engine is completely free to use if you make less than $1 million with your game, which is very unlikely to happen if you're not a AAA company. It uses the programming language C++, but you can also use Blueprints, a visual scripting language to create your games. You can export your games to PCs, mobile devices, consoles and VR. Because of its realistic graphic rendering, it does not work that well on old and low performing machines, but I'll be later showing you a tool which is very lightweight and supports both 3D and 2D games. Unreal Engine is made for making 3D games and there are enough tutorials for you to get started with the engine. Number 2. Godot. Godot is a free and open source 2D and 3D game engine for Windows, Linux and Mac. You can code in its own language called GDScript which is similar to Python but you can also use C Sharp, C++ or Visual Scripting. It comes with a flexible scene system, a powerful 3D rendering pipeline that supports particles and post-processing, but also a built in map editor for 2D games, cutout sprite sheets, animations and much more. There are not that many tutorials out there yet, but as it's gaining popularity, there will also be more and more tutorials over time. It is extremely lightweight and runs on any device, even if you have a low-end PC, the download file is just about 30 megabytes big. You can export your games to Windows, Mac, Linux, mobile phones, consoles, However, if you want to publish your game for a console, you need to pay up to $800 or more. Number 1. Unity Unity is a very popular game engine for Windows, Linux and Mac, which you can use to make both 2D and 3D games. It lets you export to many platforms such as computers, mobile phones, HTML or VR. You can make your game's graphics look better with its universal render pipeline, post-processing tools and its particle system. You can write code in C-sharp or use its visual scripting language Bolt for implementing game logic. It comes with a scene editor, animation tools, a built-in time map editor and much more. I'm also using Unity and the main advantage of Unity compared to all of the other game engines is that it's been used by many people all over the globe since 2005, meaning that there is a very large community to help you with your problems. No other game engine has as many tutorials as Unity does. Approximately 80% of all game engine tutorials are to Unity tutorials, so you will find answers to any problem you might encounter. The personal edition is completely free to use and you can make and publish your games with it, but there also is a Plus, Pro and Enterprise edition. Not that many people actually need these paid versions and it's very likely that you won't need them as well. However, I will make a video comparing these different versions of Unity in the future here on this channel, so if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell so you don't miss out any future game dev education videos. Also make sure to like this video if you liked it and dislike it if you didn't. Tell me in the comments down below which game engine you use or want to use and then I hope I'll see you soon. Bye.